This is a new evolution in flashings from Dex, the Dex Rapid Flash. It's a traditional Dectite cone that's used on all the Dectite cell deck flashings and it's still EPDM, but it's bonded to Dex Fast Flash. This makes for a brilliant flashing. The boot will take zero to 45 degrees in roof pitch and there are cut marks up the cone to distinguish the pipe size that you need to seal. It's predominantly used on tiled roofs for soil pipes, chimney pipes, flues and vents that penetrate the tiled roof. The EPDM has a temperature range of 0 to 150 degrees. The boot will take 0 to 45 degrees in roof pitch. It will bend and it will stretch and it will do all kinds of things that you need it to. But what we've done is we've put this onto a product now that really does easily bend and stretch and twist. And it's on Dex Fast Flash. Dex Fast Flash is an amazing product for flashing purposes. And mostly because it has, on the underside, a fully adhesive backing in Butyl. Now, Butyl is a marvellous product. Not only is it a water seal, but it's also an amazing adhesive that does not crystallise and does not crack and therefore won't go hard and you will not get leaks. The size range available in our rapid flash range is 50mm to 330mm diameter. We'll now be showing you how to install this product with an installation video. What you have to do is to cut your pipe here, collar, so that it fits over your pipe. So the best way is inverse it like that, get hold of the length that you want, find out what size it is on there. So I have 110 to 130. Best cut it with a pair of snips rather than a knife. Cut down to the ridge that you want. Once you're down there, cut around the ridge. So have a look around the outside that you've just cut. Make sure there's no nicks going down that way. If you get a slight tear going downwards when you strip it over, put it over this, it will stretch it and it could very easily split. So this is fine. That's lovely. Make sure your tile that it's going down on is dry and clean. If it's wet, it won't stick. Make sure you line it up properly. Once you've got it lined up, you'll find that on the back here, that it's got a perforated edge up, about a third of the way up. So you can lift it up. Once you've taken the backing off there, you can put this down. You have got a bit of time with this. It's not like you put it there and it's gone. You have got a bit of time with it, although you do need it roughly in the right place as any adhesive, it will start to stick and you don't want to be pulling it up to readjust. So once I've got that stuck down there, I can then take this off here. 